Fresh off a fairy tale run in the T20 World Cup 2024, where they managed to beat Pakistan and qualify for the Super 8, USA cricket has been making massive strides in the world game recently. It leads us to the question of whether USA can really go big in cricket. The American dreams began when they beat Bangladesh in a bilateral series. They then began the World Cup in satisfying fashion, beating Canada in a thrilling run chase. But there's a couple of obstacles that they'll need to overcome. One of them is infrastructure. The USA already have a very competitive franchise T20 league, Major League Cricket. The league features six teams and is now into its second season. The league has massive financial backing, with franchises such as KKR and Mumbai Indians owning their own teams in the American-based league. However, for the 2024 season, there will only be two different grounds used, with 16 of the 25 matches including finals being hosted at the Grand Prairie Stadium in Texas, with the remaining nine matches to be hosted in Church Street Park, located in North Carolina. But really quickly, if you guys are enjoying the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe, since 98% of you aren't. But anyway, back to the video. The lack of cricket outside Texas makes you wonder whether cricket will really succeed outside of the state. The Nassau County International Stadium was also demolished. Rumour has it due to the low-scoring nature of the pitch. It was initially supposed to host a few MLC games, but that's not going to happen now that it's been demolished. Rumour has it though that the Ambani's will build a new stadium in New York. Now I've done a video on this topic recently, so the link's in the description so make sure you go check that out. Now there is the Central Broward Cricket Stadium in Florida which apparently sets 25,000 people, but I'm not too sure about that. The stadium played host to four games of the T20 World Cup, however, most of which were washed out. I'm not too sure why the stadium won't host any games in the MLC, but if you know, drop a comment. I think another challenge for the USA, though, will be growing natural talent. In USA's T20 World Cup squad, there was only four players who were born in the US, some of them even playing under-19 or first-class cricket for their former country. And I'm not too sure how much the MLC will help that out as well, since there are only five spots available for local players. This is an improvement from last year though, where there were only three local players who would play. In its current state, USA cricket is just filled with failed stars from across the globe. Cricketers like Unmuk Chand and Saurabh Netravalka, who were unable to bank it big in their own country, so came to the US and decided to make it big there. Time will tell whether the younger generation catches hold of cricket in USA. And there are many claims that say that there are over 400 leagues in the US and 200,000 players and massive global events like the T20 World Cup will do nothing but wonders for the popularity of the sport in America. Cricket is also set to take place in the 2028 Olympics in Los Angeles, which I think again will do wonders for the sport. It's still unbelievable the fact that USA has gone from a team that never we expected to compete to actually beating Pakistan, and, and against almost every team they showed some really good competition and fight. I believe that USA has every single tool ready to become a force in the world game. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to aim to make these videos about 5 minutes long from now on, so stay tuned.